Hello YouTubers, Ronki Jr. here, and in today's video I will show you guys how to get multiple audio lines in your recording. So in a video I made uh, a couple of weeks ago showing you my OBS settings for 1080p 60fps recordings, I asked you guys if you wanted me to make a tutorial video on how to get multiple audio lines in your recordings, and you guys said yes. So here is the video. Now uh, first things first, this, look kinda, this looks kind of complicated, but it really isn't all that complicated. First thing you're going to want to do is go on the voice your website there's a link in all to all this in the description down below hit that download button and then you're just gonna be able to go show folder uh, from where the download is and what you're gonna want to do where the hell it go here is just uh, run it as administrator I already have it installed um, so that's gonna already be done for me and then also download something called VB audio virtual cable which is, there's also a link to in the in the description down below download that and then you're going to want to install that as well. Now, once that's done, uh, you're going to want to launch the software. But before doing, before launching the software, uh, you guys, all you, have, you guys have to know is go to your sound settings of your system, playback devices, and uh, actually go and make it so that the voice meter input is set to default. If not, you guys will probably lose all audio on your computer and you're going to be wondering what the fuck did he make me do? So you, you have to make sure to do this before you do anything else. If not, you're not going to be able to hear anything. Um, and then we're going to keep going on from there. Now once all that is done, restart your computer. So welcome back, you have restarted your computer, all that's done. So now we're gonna start going into the interface here. Now the hardware input one we're not messing with, don't take care of that. We're gonna skip directly to hardware input two, which is gonna be your cable output VB audio virtual cable. Now what this is gonna do is we're gonna use this channel here for your Discord, Skype, or TS, whatever it is. Virtual input here should be VB Audio Voice Meter Vio, which is where your uh, system and game sound will be coming through. And make sure to have the channel A selected on both of these and not the B. And now for hardware out, this is where um, you're gonna control where the sound actually comes out. So for me, I have it set to Logitech G930 Gaming. I have it set to MME because for some reason my 7.1 Surround sound does not work with uh, the WDM, so I set it to this, but usually if you guys select WDM and whatever your headset is, it should work just fine. And you can also have it set to a second hardware out if you want to have the sound coming out through, let's say, your speakers and your headset at the same time. But uh, for recording purposes, we're only going to have it sent to the, uh, the gaming headset. So now that that's all done, uh, the next thing we're going to do is go on either Discord or go to uh, your TeamSpeak, I'll show you both. So what you're gonna wanna do for voice settings, obviously input is whatever your microphone is, and the output device is gonna be that virtual audio cable. So here, if you go output device, you should see in your list cable, input VB audio virtual cable, and you can just, uh, you don't even need to scroll down, it's just gonna auto save, and you're gonna have the Discord audio coming through there. If you wanna try it for TeamSpeak, all you have to do is go to tools, options and uh, then you go to playback and you have playback device and you select cable input VB audio virtual cable hit apply hit OK now your your friends are gonna come through the second channel and your audio is gonna come through the first and you're gonna have your mic now what you want to do is go to OBS and then we're gonna go, want to go to settings now in the settings here you're gonna have to go to output and right now, since I'm recording, you guys uh, can't, I can't really modify anything here, but you're gonna wanna make sure that there's three audio tracks selected and that you're recording in an MP4 format. There, you're gonna wanna go to audio. Desktop audio device, select it for voice meter input. Desktop audio device two, cable uh, input VB audio virtual cable. So that's your TeamSpeak or Skype or Discord, whatever it is. And then your mic auxiliary audio device, whatever your microphone is. For me, it's the uh, Yeti microphone. So then hit apply, hit okay. And then from here, what you're gonna wanna do is go to advanced audio properties. Now this is where you really need to pay attention because uh, by default, all these audio tracks are going to be selected. Now it doesn't really matter which order they're in. What's important is to have each track have their own number. So for mic and slash auxiliary, I want it to be sent to one. And for desktop audio two, I want it to be sent to the second audio channel. And then for the desktop audio, I want it to be sent to the third uh, audio channel 
of the, the voice meter app. If you have all of them selected, they're all going to be mixed together. So make sure that they each have their own uh, little box checked and that all the other ones are unchecked or else it's going to mess up uh, everything that you recorded and you're going to have each audio line is going to be in all of the other audio lines. So it's all going to be mixed together and it's just going to make you very annoyed. So to give you guys an example, I recorded a little bit of footage the other night and this is what it looks like when you open it in Sony Vegas. So as you can see here, there is an audio line here, a different one here and a different one here. So let's just give it a little test and see which one is which. So as you can see now, Enemies picked up the pigeon. down here is the audio, the game audio. If I turn that off, no more game audio. Fuck! And then that this one was me right here. Help. Actually, Help. this was my friends. This one I'm was me. Screwed. And now see, you can only hear the people in Shoot. TeamSpeak or Skype. Again. Oh. <laughs> and if I turn all of them down, turn this one, this one up. That is me. You can hear my is... keyboard flickering, and you can hear me snickering. So uh, that's pretty much what the tutorial is. It's not. It looks complicated, but it's not very, and it just makes your life a hell of a lot easier when you're when you're actually editing videos because you can uh, just mute or like adjust each audio line separately, um, and it's gonna make your life a hell of a lot easier when you got those awesome moments and your friends are making a lot of noise and you don't want to hear them in the in the video, so you can just mute their line altogether. Uh, but I'm not gonna make a tutorial on how all that works. But I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial on how to get multiple audio lines. If you guys have any questions, be sure to leave them in the comments down below. You can also reach me on Discord if you guys have any questions. Uh, the Discord server link is also in the description down below. And while you're down there, be sure to hit the like button if you enjoyed the video. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Don't forget to hit that notify bell. And as always, thank you very much for watching. I really appreciate it, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a good one.